Hello guys, it's Glenn from Sydney CBD or Paris Center and today we're gonna talk about five reasons why fixing your smartphone is a practical thing to do. Why does it make a sense financially to just fix a broken smartphone? And number one reason why it is is repair is so much cheaper than buying new or used. And this is the same case for buying the same model than the one that you're about to fix so for example if you have a broken iphone 10 and you want to have it fixed buying another iphone 10 either new or used is not really making any sense and it is cheaper to change one part of that broken iphone 10 than to find a replacement smartphone Yes, it, it, it's true that some repairs are really more difficult to do, especially on the motherboard repair where you basically uh, swap out the entire motherboard, then yep, but that is just an exception more than the rule. Repairing smartphones is still cheaper than buying new or used, especially if you it's just a minor fix like a charging port or a battery swap or a screen replacement think about the fraction of the cost required to fix that one than buying a totally new device number two repair lets you postpone a smartphone upgrade so this one going back to the iphone 10 upgrading right away is impractical especially if you own that iphone 10 for just one year and for that one year, you may have a, a warranty from Apple if you have an Apple Care. And even if you don't have an Apple Care, upgrading to that soon to an iPhone 11 is not really a sensible thing to do because new phones are not really essential. Yes, take that from me. The features are relatively similar with minor tweaks. Believe me that the smartphone features and specifications has tend to be really plateaued in the fast in the past few years and recently iPhones are not totally different and current phone functions are good enough for daily use you can just use uh, your smartphone for Facebook or the camera for taking uh, selfies or great images you, you don't really need four cameras to be honest and for daily use you don't need to zoom in that far especially when you're quarantined inside your house or you know it's not really that necessary you don't even need folding phones come on guys do you really need folding phones in your life right now and i think it's yeah it's your money but i think think about the savings that you will have if you can postpone a smartphone upgrade uh, from one model to the next uh, next version of that model along the line so for the uh, the new iPhone 11 is great but you so is your iPhone 10 it's just minor changes and the longer usable life you can get from your old device means that you can even make meaningful more meaningful upgrades in the future Plus, you have extra cash in the bank. You're so ready to upgrade by that time. So iPhone 10 to the, the version that's next to iPhone 11. Yep, that's a good upgrade. That makes more sense to me. Number three, repair is good for the environment. Yep, it has been a question of, you know, saving the planet and of course the less phones thrown away the less stuff goes to the landfills and we can't re recycle everything that we throw sometimes we just bury them underground and some of these smartphones have uh, chemicals in them that is not necessarily good for their environment and you can sell your broken smartphones for parts as alternative especially if your smartphone has a good chassis or a good uh, display and you can't really just throw it away because it just looks 
almost brand new and yeah you can just sell it on eBay or give it to someone else who might need some parts and this is more of a, a bit of a stretch seriously but yeah the, the longer you can keep your smartphone the it will greatly keep the planet happier yeah number four repaired smartphones can be good hand-me-downs if you really have to upgrade then you have your old uh, smartphone fixed then you can just give them to your kid or your mom who, who uses a, a very old phone and gifting someone a repaired smartphone is not entirely bad it's actually helping them if they really needed it you know you, d you don't care if your kid is rough with a smartphone you know because it's an old smartphone that you just fixed or maybe the repair your repaired uh, iPhone 10 is way better than the beat up iPhone 5 that your mom still uses fixing smartphones for hand-me-downs is a win-win situation it can keep your family members happy or your friends happy and we go to the final reason why repairing your smartphone fixing your smartphone is practical because repairing smartphones is uh, a good source of backup phones backup phones you have two smartphones you have the main one and the back one backup one and if you make zoom calls or record a lot of YouTube videos you know or videos in general a repaired smartphone can be good uh, for video call conferences Imagine Zoom calls and after an hour of a conference call, your smartphone just gets really hot. And by this, you can keep your new smartphone less stressed and just uh, use the backup phone that you fixed, do the most of the work. And repaired smartphones can be good for recording uh, B-roll footage. You know, if you're... Uh, savvy in video production you can use the older smartphones with a relatively good camera still to shoot some secondary angles for your uh, youtube video or your video production come on the iphone 10 can shoot professional grade videos and it just keeps again it keeps your main smartphone less stressed and Repair smartphones can also be a good device, especially when you reach are uh, recharging your main phone. What if your iPhone 11 is uh, needing a recharge and you still want to play some games or have a chat or watch a YouTube video, then your backup phone can be a good solution for that. So you get what I'm saying here? If you don't want to give your old stuff away, you can do that. You can just keep your old smartphones use it and use it to your advantage so that's it guys you have five reasons why fixing your smartphones is more practical than buying new or used thanks for joining click like and subscribe and follow us on facebook till next time guys cheers